everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap and today we're going to be doing a flower embed soap. We're going to be using this uh, fondant mat which we used for another uh, embed soap I think a couple years ago. We're going to use that. Actually this is a really good one because it also has those little balls. It comes out in a string but you just rip them apart and then you have some really cool embeds. We're going to be using it for the leaves here. And then I got this uh, flower uh, mold from Amazon and so we're going to be doing that. Now what we have here is we have three shea butter melt and pour soap bases, one ounce each. And depending on how much soap you're going to make, I'm only going to make one bar in our pink mold, uh, you're going to have leftover. So if you're going to make three, four bars, perfect. But uh, this soap is just for the embeds. We're going to use a green for the leaves. We're going to use a, I can't find my other yellow. So it's a neon yellow. We're going to really try to tone that one down. And then I have like a purple pink from Stardust Micas. We will be needing a pipette. Now it's really important that you use at least a 3 ml pipette. I made the mistake. I have smaller ones and I honestly don't know if they're like a 1 ml, but you, the size is much smaller. And the issue is we're going to have to use it to get into these little nooks and crannies in there and put the soap here. Now they, this can be reusable. You're just going to take warm water before it really gets dry and you're going to squeeze it down and out of the tip and then you can kind of use it over and over again. So it's not a one and done. Now sometimes after lots of use these will split here, but they come in packs of 150 or 300. So, um, but you can make one last a long way. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to warm these up. I'm not going to add any scent at this time. And um, we're going to go ahead and just get our embeds made and then we will go from there. Okay, to finish my thought, I don't think I told you why for the pipette. It, the soap dries faster in the smaller pipette. So there's just less soap in there it, and it really cools down really fast. So these are already melted down. It seriously took like 10 to 15 seconds. I already have alcohol in my bath bomb mold so that I can go ahead and mix. I'm actually going to do the yellow first since that's the one I'm going to be piping, at, piping into here. So we'll use the yellow first. For some reason this one likes to waft on me. Um, but as you can see it's a really, really bright yellow. And I'm just going to use a touch. Just a touch. I just need enough to get a little bit of yellow in the soap. And I'm actually going to move it away from me because I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if it got, see it's all over my hands. Um, I don't know if it just got dropped or if the cap was loose at one point or what when I was doing a resin project. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and I'm not even going to alcohol that. I'm not going to try to get the full effect there. I just need it to be a little yellow. Okay, so I don't know if it makes a difference, but why not? We're going to squirt our mold with some alcohol. The dogs are getting rambunctious in the background, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I will maybe add a picture of the puppies at the end of the video. So we're going to pipe it a little bit here. And then I'm just going to drop it in. Just do the best you can. Okay, like I said, didn't even need the whole thing on this. And then we're going to go ahead, I'm going to stop the video. Well, actually, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to try and run my fingers through it now, as you can see. And then I'm just going to be using this for yellow from now on. I have no scent in it, so it should be okay. So we're going to keep that. We will squirt this with alcohol in case there's any bubbles. This could, I, I can already see I got a drop um, over here and I'm not sure if I can take a paper towel and get that out. I'm going to try. Um, I think for this soap it really doesn't matter too much. So we'll just keep that the way it is. And now I'm going to be adding the green and then we'll do the same process. And then you'll see me do the same thing for the pink purple color.
are back. I have some crystal clear melt and pour melted down here. I only have about two and a half ounces um, because I have, I also have these like little orange flowers. So let me show you how the leaves turned out there. And then the pink, pink purple, is that what we call it? Pink purple hearts. I don't know if you can see it with my glove or flowers, sorry. Okay. So these are now at room temperature. You want to make sure that they're not too hot. I don't have the new set of leaves done yet for these flowers here. Um, I did want to show you that all you do to clean out the pipette is you run hot water on top of it. You do not need to put water inside of it. Um, so you run hot water on top of it and then you squeeze it out like this and then it comes right out. So this is the same pipette. I've used them for both of these already and they've, they've worked great. So what we're going to see is we're going to kind of see what the temperature is. Let me see if this, I don't know if I got my, yeah, this is it. Let's see what we're at here. So 151. So a little too hot to pour. I like to pour, if I'm going to do embeds, um, under uh, 140. So we're still at 150 right now. So when I come back, this will be under 140. Um, and then we'll start just putting the first layer of embeds in. Okay, we are now at 140. You have to be careful though, because once this gets too cool, and then it starts to have skins in it. So I guess we'll try here in the middle one, because I think that's the one you can see the best in. We're just going to pour a very thin layer, just enough to cover the bottom. And the same here. We're going to have a little soap left over. That's fine, we're going to use it all. There's a little, there we go. There was just a little place there that wasn't covered. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to put the flowers in first. Oops, or drop them in first. Now these pink molds will hold all six of the flowers in that other mold. And it, of course, as you always, links to everything we use down on the bottom in the description. You know, but I think I'm only going to use five of them. So make sure that these are covered with alcohol. And they should stick quite nicely in there. They're slippery, though. Now, what I learned after doing these orange-colored ones was that I didn't need to fill the mold up completely all the way to the, the top. As you can tell, you probably can't, but these are much bulkier than the other molds. Okay, so one more squirt. Let's see where we're at here. Now we can pour a little bit more on top. Now this gets tricky because of our leaves. There, you see we used it all. Okay, I got a little bit more melted pour. I let this, it has a nice skin on it. Some of these leaves are still very mobile, meaning it hasn't adhered at all because the, the layer wasn't high enough, and that's fine. When you're pouring, you need to be very slow because what can happen is if you pour really fast and you have something like this which can move around really easily, you can actually get an air bubble stuck under there. So what I do is I find um, the, the shallowest point, which would be here, and then maybe over here in this corner, and then I pour very slowly. Now it may float up a little, but that's okay because we're actually going to do a final layer right on top, which is going to be an opaque. And that's actually where we're going to be adding our scent. Not a lot. But that is where we're going to add our scent. So we're actually in the 130s here. It's quite thick. And I'm pouring very slowly. All I want to do is adhere these layers. I don't need it to go all the way to the top. I just want it to adhere and hopefully just, just cover these layers. Make sure you can see that you have, a, like, maybe, it looks like I have maybe less than a quarter of an inch 
Oops, I said I was going to start here and I started over there. And you just want to make sure you have enough to put your final layer in. So it looks like I have maybe, maybe three eighths of an inch left. So very important, spray with alcohol. And that's not to adhere those flowers, that's more just to get rid of the bubbles. We want this to be as clear as possible. So, so far so good. We're going to go ahead, um, the reason you want to make sure these are at room temperature or some people will put it in the refrigerator or freezer is because you want to make sure that this is still at 130, 140. That's, that's still hot. If these ha are still warm on the inside, even though they're hot on the outside, you saw my Easter egg soap disasters. And what happens is it will start to melt as it's setting just because the warm on the outside and the heat in the inside, it just starts to, to bleed out. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to actually pour this extra little clear here because we will use it for something sometime, knowing me, another experiment. I'm not even going to spray alcohol on that because I will be remelting it down. We're going to let this go ahead and set. And then um, I'm not quite sure what color background I'm going to use on this. I guess I can just use maybe, I don't know, I'll decide while, when we come back what color I'm going to use in the back. And then uh, we'll go ahead and pour our final layer. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, and we're back. So these are, these are nicely cured. Uh, if you're going to test them, test where there's uh, an embed so that you don't leave a fingerprint in there. So let's go ahead. I've mixed up a little bit of uh, shea butter melt and pour soap base. It's at 151, so it's too hot to pour right now. So what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of uh, Bramble Bear Yuzu Cybella. And Kaylin came home, and I asked her what should the background be. And she said she thinks maybe a pink um, in an opaque. So let's just do it. Just because uh, it was kind of hard for me to figure out what I should do with this. I believe this is Stardust Micas. I think this is their watermelon. Um, links to everything that I'm using are below. So we know as soon as we put, oops, as soon as we put this inside here, it's going to drop our temperature. So let's mix it in. Now I asked her, can I put a little bit of glitter in there? And she, she gave me a look. And you know the look a teenager gives you, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because I like glitter. So a little bit of bio glitter here. And it's just a little bit. It'll be in the background. I'll just put my Okay, we'll stir that up. And it's probably going to get lost in this because it, usually the glitters will show up much better in um, the glycerin soap. So I don't even see the glitter, but oh no, you know what? The base, I don't know if you can see it, the base is sparkling. It's just that you don't actually see the glitter flakes. Perfect. That's fine. Let's see what we're at right now. 131, we're good to pour, but first we have to take a skewer or something sharp. And wherever there's an embed so that you don't see through it, go ahead and make some hatch marks. This will allow the soap to adhere to this soap so you don't get a separation. So if you can see, I'm just doing hash marks over designs so that people will not see that. And don't forget your alcohol. I'm using a 91%. 91% or higher when you're going to adhere layers. We're at 131 and we're going to pour slow. And make sure you keep stirring because what's going to happen is you don't want that glitter to fall one way or the other. I think I just had enough. That's, this was lucky because I just kind of eyeballed it. And of course we're going to finish it off with a spritz of alcohol so that we get any bubbles. 
Now we're just going to let it uh, sit and then we will be back for the unmolding. Okay everyone, we're back. I had enough embeds to do um, a third soap, so we will go ahead and unmold. Very pretty. You can't really, see, yeah, you can see the glitter in the background, but I don't know if the camera is picking it up. So the background is a, a light pink and it sparkles a little bit. I mean, it's not overbearing. And these were like the more orange, pastel orange ones, but with the same background. Very nice. And then I wanted to do a third one and I wanted to see if no background would make a big difference. I'm wearing gloves because I'll get fingerprints all over these. To get fingerprints off of soap, you just squirt it with a little bit of alcohol, real light paper towel and wipe it. I thought I would just avoid that and just wear some gloves and that's really pretty. That is a cute soap. Okay, and really when they're down, I don't know that you can really tell a big difference because these have the same color flowers. So, I don't know. Can you tell? This one has the background. This has none. Okay, guys. I hope you like this soap, and we will see you next week for another soap. Have a good day.